Hot dog stands at Lowe's or Home Depot stores are convenient for shoppers on the run, but several Lowe's shops in Metro Detroit are ending their relationship with food stands. 7 Action News reporter Simon Chowdhury spoke with one employee about what this means for her and her customers. It's pretty common to find a hot dog stand when you're going in and out of a hardware store, but soon Lowe's will be doing away with these, making it harder for you to get a quick bite to eat. Maureen Aird is making one of her last hot dogs here at the Lowe's on Newburgh Road in Westland. For her, this has been more than just the job. This is a lot of fun, and I love the customers. And they come and they chat with you, they tell you their life stories. Is that high, that one mine? Yep. The children, they're hysterical. They're fun. You're Have a good day. This is her last day. The owners of this hot dog stand and at least three others received a letter stating their contract with Lowe's has been terminated and the stands must go. It just kind of hurts. Customers were caught off guard too. It's a convenience, so you leave, you grab a hot dog, you get in your car and you go home. As you exit, you, you could smell it. It smells good, especially in the cooler weather, you know. But yeah, it's sad though. They're disappointed. They're angry. They want to know why. The owner of this hot dog stand tells us the company did not give him a reason. He also owns stands at the Lowe's in Madison Heights, Southgate, and Ypsilanti. He tells us the demand is great at his locations, sometimes serving more than 1,200 customers a week, like this man who comes in just for the hot dogs. Somebody told me that it was going to close. I was like, why? Why is it called the hot dog place? Maureen says the shutdown comes right before the busy season. Thanksgiving weekend would have been really big. Now she and other employees don't know what they're going to do next. I'm just disappointed that we can't stay, and I'm disappointed that I won't have this job. And the owner of this stand hopes to meet with Lowe's representatives in the next few weeks in hopes of them reversing their decision. In Westland, I'm Simon Chowdhury for 7 Action News. Well, Simon reached out to Lowe's earlier today to ask what they're, why they're doing away with these do hot dog stands and if this is happening at other stores nationwide so far, she has not heard back.